Welcome everybody to our very exciting chart challenge session. Uh, joining me is Steve Nissen, the CEO and founder of Candle Charts. Um, tonight's session is being recorded, so you can either be watching this either live or via recording. We'll be getting the recording out. We are fully encouraging interaction during this session. When I say interaction, I mean two different things. One, we will be putting up a bunch of uh, challenge questions in the form of multiple choice. So we're just going to ask you to participate. If you're here live, if you're watching this via recording, certainly put it on pause if needed and uh, answer the questions, see if you got them right. I'm also gonna be coming back in uh, to talk about a special offer that we have to become a member of my candle charts. Um, and then I'll certainly be on at the end to answer any questions. If you do have a question throughout the session, please feel free to type those in and I will stick around at the end to answer every question I can. So as of right now, I'm going to put my mic on mute and bring on Steve so that we can get going with our chart challenges. Over to Great. You. Thank you, Paul. Uh, and congratulations on attending the special chart challenge section uh, seminar. I think you'll get a lot of uh, enjoyment and education now out, out of this. And uh, uh, we respect your time, so you know it'll be fairly um, brief. But I think you'll get a lot of valuable information. So before we begin, just want to do what we always do: show you our caveat uh, with the risk disclosure. Okay, I'm not sure why it's not showing up yet. Paul, do you see the risk disclosure on there? I do not. No, for some reason it is not advancing. Okay, let me log in and log back out and see what happens. Okay, Paul, so you want to take over? Sure. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then, just to kind of change the order up a little bit, is I'm going to talk about my candle charts. Uh, and I'm going to just change presenter over to me real fast. And this is just to uh, basically stall until Steve is logged back in. My Candle Charts is a membership site. It is one of our sites at under the umbrella of CandleCharts.com. My Candle Charts is where we have a whole lot of different daily live and recorded videos to help guide you through the markets. So we're going to give you this link in a little bit, but we have a special offer on how you can become a member. When you come to the link that we give you, you'll be able to play this 10 minute video if you'd like to see all the different uh, information about what's included. But And I'll come back up to pricing in a second. But these are all of the different things that we have to offer inside of my candle chart. So we have strategy sessions. Um, we have chart of the day, morning trade setup and all kinds of other sessions. So Steve, if you wanna take over, it looks like Steve's back in the room. Um, Steve, you could take over. And I just, real quick, I wanna show you before Steve takes control, or actually he is, we're gonna be showing you a special offer on how to become a member. But Steve, uh, hopefully everything's working for you now. Okay, we'll see, let me see. Okay, change presenter. Okay, uh, I can't see it in mind. Do you see the risk disclosure, Paul? The risk disclosure just came up. Great, okay, for some reason, I'm not seeing it on my screen, but as long as we you see it on your screen, great. Okay, so uh, as I was mentioning before, sorry for the uh, little hiccup, uh, we always have a risk disclosure, just reminding you that uh, in any market, any time frame, pretty much you could lose money. Hopefully we'll show you ways to uh, increase likelihood of making money, but there's always risk of loss. And if you wanna see the whole risk disclosure, there is a link on the bottom here. Now there's a wonderful Japanese proverb as shown here that says uh, to hear it told is not equal to experience. So with that, 
uh, we're going to give you a little bit more experience. Uh, and we're going to do that through what we call chart challenges. We actually do this, and Paul had mentioned a little bit about mycalendarcharts.com. We actually do um, similar chart challenges. We show you a chart, and we ask you what you see here and what you would do. Uh, so I just want to give you a taste of that. So you all have your thinking caps on. Uh, you will be seeing a polling question. We're going to be doing quite a few of them. And uh, so first one is, I'm going to show you this chart. And the question is, okay, what pattern is circled? And we have about 50% new, if I remember, uh, 20, 30% intermediate, and about 20% advanced. So, okay, and we'll give you a little bit. The options are falling window, dark cloud cover, bearish engulfing pattern and doji and for those of you who are new don't worry i'll be going over one the correct answer and two why it is the correct answer okay and so far we only have about 50 percent come on let's make it 100 percent even if you're not sure just guess <laughs> there we go Okay, so, and I think what we'll do with each one, we'll give it maybe about a minute or so, and which is done now. So let me close the poll, and these are the answers. Okay, so we have about 30% of falling window, dark cloud cover, and the correct answer is, drumroll please, a bearish engulfing pattern. And don't worry if you don't know the correct answer, if you're brand new, you know, we have resources to get you up to speed very, very quickly. But let me remind you what a bearish engulfing pattern is. A bearish engulfing pattern is when a uh, red candle, or depending on your charting service, this could be black, wraps around a green real body. Remember, green real body means the close is higher than the open. So this indeed is a bearish engulfing pattern, red wrapped around a black. Uh, a falling window, there's not a falling window. We'll go over what a window is. Essentially a window, and I'll have it. Oh, okay, need to leave the chart up. Okay, so. Okay, so Paul, isn't the chart up or when I show the- Steve, when you pull up the polling question, the chart actually disappeared. So a lot oh, of people couldn't see. Okay. So what we need there to we do go. is kind of put the chart up there, uh, let okay. people look at it, kind of maybe read the question before we launch okay. the poll so that people have a chance oh, okay. to see, both, you know, okay. see the chart and then- Okay. Great. Okay. So let's do that again because I just have the chart up for a second. So I'm going to close this poll here. Okay. So let me share the results, but uh, let me uh, hide the poll. Okay. So is the chart up now, Paul? Yes, it is. Okay. So, okay. So we're going to do this again. Sorry about that. Uh, so we have the pattern. Well, I gave you the answer, but uh, the majority of you had, and congratulations, by the way, because I only had the chart up for a few seconds. So, Great, you were able to see it very quickly. But uh, the choices were falling window, dark cloud cover, bearish engulfing pattern, and a doji. So it is a bearish engulfing pattern because the red real body wrapped around the green real body. We'll go over what a falling window is. Some of you said doji, and I guess that's my fault because here we have a doji, and you may have seen that right away before I, you know, I hid the slide. So the correct answer to this is bearish engulfing pattern. All right, now the next question, and I will leave this up, is at the arrow, what signal is this? This is the individual candle line. And what the options are going to be, and I'll pull up the poll in a second, it's going to be, again, we're looking at this one candle, a doji, a shooting star, a hanging man, or none of the above. Okay, so again, what candle signal is this? Doji, shooting star, hanging man, or none of the above. Okay, so I'm launching the poll now. Okay. And this one's a little tricky. Well, actually really impressed with how many of you are getting it correct. And Steve, while people are answering, just want to let you know, I looked, we do not currently have the ability to show both the chart and the question at the same time. 
there's a little hiccup inside the GoToWebinar system not allowing us to do that. So going forward, you'll have to just show the chart, kind of read the question, and then pull up the polling. Okay. Okay, and again, we'll give it just another few seconds. Okay. I'm really impressed that uh, a third of you got this correct. So let me close the poll, and now we see the chart again. Now, we we should hopefully we know this is not a doji. And again, congratulations. Nobody called this a doji. Obviously, this was a doji with the open and close of the same. This is not a doji. 55% uh, shooting star, 10% hanging man, and 35% none of the above. The none of the above is probably the intermediate to advanced people because uh, you know, at first glance, this would be a shooting star to refresh your memory. Or for those new to candles, a shooting star is a candle with a long upper shadow and a small real body, which this has. But one of the criterion of the shooting star is the upper shadow has to be twice the height of the real body. And we can easily see this is not the upper shadow, this part over here is not the twi twice the height of the real body. And a third of you got it correct, so kudos to you. And even the 55% who viewed this as shooting star, also, you know, congratulations, semi-congratulations, because at least you recognize the basics of what a shooting star would look like, the long upper shadow and small real body. Just the upper shadow wasn't long enough. So good call on that one. Okay, we're gonna go to another chart challenge. All right, and uh, let me close the, let me, uh, our next one. All right, so what we're going to show is at the circled area. Okay, don't worry about the arrow. We're looking at the circled area. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, we're looking first at the arrow. Okay, so the first part of the question. Uh, uh, at the, oh, no, sorry, at the circled area. We'll look at the arrow later. At the circled area, what are some reasons for caution? In other words, if you were long. Uh, and when we talk about cautionary signals or bearish signals, it doesn't mean you should think about going short. Uh, you know, if it's options, these candles are great for options. You can think about a bear trade, uh, a put or something, or Forex, obviously. But m most of us are not going to be shorting in, uh, op in stocks. But when we have negative candle signals, it could be a great time to think about exiting or lightening up on your long position. So what are some reasons for caution in this circled area? Okay, so the choices are bearish engulfing pattern, okay. confirming a resistance area, the highs are about the same over the last three sessions, or all of the above. So again, what are the reasons for caution? Bearish, is it a bearish engulfing pattern? Is it because it's confirming a resistance area, the circled area here? Is it because the highs are right around the same, or is it all of the above? Okay, so. And we, we may get 100% voting here. 91%, come on. <laughs> like we're watch, watching a... Uh, a ball going down the alley and a, you, you know you move your hand so it goes down to to the middle great okay all right we have 95 percent. you can't you know get much better than that so all right so the answer is and congratulations almost all of you got it all of the above so you the bearish engulfing pattern red wrap around the green Okay, it's confirming resistance area. This is really important. Uh, one of my cardinal rules, and for those of you familiar with our education and are currently members of ICC or have our uh, other education, you know how important it is to be a little bit more confident if a candle signal confirms a Western signal. And to me, a Western signal, one of my favorite ones is just prior highs and lows. So we can see how this bearish engulfing pattern is confirming this resistance area set back, it looks like in probably early January of this year. So that's the second reason. Third reason, the market's going from higher highs to the same highs. So it's kind of making a rounding, rounding top over here. Okay, 
Next question, a little bit more detailed. Would you go short or exit longs? In other words, would you do something bearish, either lightening up a longs or do a bear trade uh, or exit your long positions at the arrow? In other words, would you be, you know, with all the things that we saw, the resistance area, the bearish engulfing pattern, would you actually do a negative trade or bear trade at that arrow? And it's either yes or no. I'm going to get the question. And all right, but I want you to put in why it's yes or no. Okay. So in other words, the question is, would you do a bear trade here? I'm really impressed. Yep. Yeah. Good. Okay. Again, we got 95%. It's 100%. Okay. Let's uh, shoot up fireworks. All right. 100%. Congratulations on that. And the answer is no. And for those who managed, who said no, uh, and I'm sorry, you know, you probably, oh, let me see. Let me look. You could type it in, and I should have realized this. You could type it into the question field. So, okay. So the reason it's no is the windows, exactly. Uh, some people said, wait for next day confirmation. I would wait for confirmation. The answer, and I'll close this here so you can see. Yes, um, you could wait for bearish confirmation, but the, the real answer, and there's nothing wrong with that, waiting for bearish confirmation. The real, the correct answer, the most important answer is, and you have to be familiar with rising windows. See the gap between here and here? Okay, that's a rising window, all right, as Tay mentioned and other people mentioned. So that's a potential support area. So we have to wait because if you sell it here, you're selling it right at a support area. So with that in mind, the answer would be wait for the next session. Now, even if this was not a rising window, it wasn't support, there's nothing wrong if you want a little extra confirmation for waiting for the next day. The downside with that is, you know, again, forgetting about this being a window. If you're waiting for confirmation, the odds of the trade working out are higher, but you're also getting a lower price, right? By selling, because you're waiting for confirmation. So it depends on your your trading style. So uh, really good calls in that. Congratulations, everybody. And we have an, we'll have another couple of uh, chart challenges. But before we do that, and again, Paul will talk about this a little bit later on, my CC, this is what we're doing now is uh, you know, kind of going over the type of education you'll get in my CC. We do a chart challenge. We do uh, we do a uh, market update every day with recaps. Paul will go into that. But I just wanted to very briefly give you a limited time specials we're going to be doing. If you do the annual plan, you get the one whole month free. Okay, you're getting $150 credit for a lifetime plan. And Paul will go into that in uh, a couple of minutes after I do my other chart challenges. And this is really cool. We're gonna have a new special topic, which we normally sell anywhere from 79 to $99. And that's gonna be added next week. And you will be getting that at no cost as a thank you bonus. Um, but you know, we have special pricing here. And once again, Paul will be going over that just in a couple of minutes. So let me get back to the chart challenge. Okay, we're going to be looking at chart challenge number three. Okay, the famous arrow. Okay, now this is a hammer. I'm letting you know, you don't have to, the upper shadow is small enough, the, the lower shadow is twice the height of your body, so this is uh, the hammer. Now, with this hammer, would you buy? And the answers could be no. The upper shadow is too long. No, I wouldn't be buying it since it was a red real body instead of a green real body. Remember, green real body means the market closed higher than the open. Uh, no, it's too close to a resistance area in spite of the bullish hammer. Remember, hammer is a bullish signal. Or yes, I would buy. Okay, so let me share it. Let me go to the polling question. Okay, so mentally, actually take a picture with your camera. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so once again, okay, with the ha with the hammer at the arrow, would you buy? 
the upper shadow, no, the upper shadow is too long, no, since it was a red wheel body instead of a green one. Uh, no, too close to resistance in spite of the bullish hammer. And yes, I would buy. Okay, so for 83, I'm waiting for at least that magic 95%. 92. I think we may be stuck at 92. 96. One of you is not voting. <laughs> okay, uh, 96%, great. All right, so let me uh, close the poll and then I will go through the answer. And again, good call on that. No, too close to resistance. That's the correct answer. Uh, it was kind of the opposite of what the prior one was. Remember, we had a lot of bearish signals here, but it was too close to a support area with the rising window. This is the flip side. Okay. There's a gap down. The falling window is resistance. So if you're buying on the hammer, you're actually buying right at a resistance area. And as Tay's saying, you know, another reason not to, to buy, and it depends on your risk parameters, when not, it's not confirming support. But actually, let me ask you a question. Tay, how do we know it's not confirming support? Uh, is there a way to see if it's confirming support? What would we have to do? We'd have to go back further on the slide, right, on the chart. You know, this is a very limited time. So when the market makes a new low like this, let's, you know, we just go back further to see if there is a support area. But yeah, if the hammer confirms support, even if the hammer was confirming support, would we buy here? No, correct? Because it's still resistance. Okay, now a little bit more involved question, same chart. And now let's assume you wait for the close of the next session because you want that bullish confirmation. As 70% uh, of you said, you know, you wouldn't be buying it here. Uh, you want that bullish confirmation by a close under the uh, close over the falling window, which is did, did. Okay. So assume you wait for the next session. Would you buy then? Would you buy here? It doesn't matter what price it is or, you know, what market it is. Would you buy here? And the answer is yes, got bullish confirmation. Okay, of the hammer. Okay, and it should, okay. Uh, yes, closed over resistance area. No, it's a poor risk reward that you wouldn't be buying it. And no, you wouldn't because this did not close in the high. So let me get to the next polling question. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so the answers are yes. We got a bullish confirmation. It shouldn't be a doge. It should, be, it should say yes. We have, yes, we have bullish confirmation of the hammer. So that changed that mentally. Okay. So, yes, close over resistance area. No, the risk reward ratio is poor, meaning the risk you're giving, you you're accepting is not really worth the reward. No, it did not close on its high. And again, there's a little bit more advanced. It gets into our, we have our trade, what we call our trading triad. The triad is Latin word for three. The first leg is candles. The second leg is Western technicals. And the third leg is money management. And this really focuses, this chart challenge question focuses on money management. Okay, so the correct answer is no, the risk reward is poor. And a good 35% of you, the highest percentage got the correct answer. Again, very impressive. So what we mean by that, the risk reward, what the risk is and what the profit potential is. So the risk is, to me, the resistance area would be up here again. You know, it doesn't matter what price it is over here. Now, the we risk would be to the low of the hammer. Some of you might be risk, you know, you could say the rising window is support. Uh, but to me, even if that, even if it was a rising window, you're looking at a one-to-one -one risk reward. And if you're looking at your stop out level at the hammer and many of the candle signals that you could use as stop out levels, 
it's a really poor risk reward. You're buying it here, your risk is here, and your target is here. But let me caution you, candles don't give price targets. I'll use Western Technicals. So I'll use these highs as my target, but for whatever reason, say fundamentally, you view your target up here, or even the falling window over here, then that would be a good risk reward. But based on what I see with our first resistance area here, my key support down here, I would not do that trade because of a poor risk reward. Okay, here's another chart challenge. And this one I did in black and white because some of your charting systems might be black and white. You know, most of us will use green and red for the candles, but black is the same as a red real body and white is the same as a green real body. Okay, so the question I will be answering is, okay, what pattern is at A? Okay, is it a piercing pattern? Is it a bullish engulfing pattern? Is it a bull hot or me? Or is it a morning star? So again, piercing pattern, bullish engulfing pattern, bull harm, harm or uh, morning star. So let me get to this. Okay, perfect, great, okay, uh, congratulations. Yeah, 90% of you said a bullish engulfing pattern, exactly. And what's particularly potent about the bullish engulfing pattern is look at this, wrapped around one, two, three, four black real bodies. And what else was also important about it, and this gets back to what Tay was mentioning about Western technicals, okay, anything else? that the bullish engulfing pattern would give you increased confidence. And you could just type in your answer in the question field. Anything else, this bullish engulfing pattern? Let your eye go to the left a little bit. What's happening over here? You know, forget about the candle signal. It's a support area, right? Exactly, Clint. Yep, yep. Good call on that. So, okay, and we'll do our final question. Okay, after the rally from A, okay, there was support near 23 on the pullback. See the sharp rally, and then the market found support at 23. Okay, why was there support around 23? Was it because 23 was a round number? Was it because it was a prior resistance area? Was 23 a rising window? Was there a rising window or all of the above? So let me launch it here. So again, was you know why was the support at 23 on the pullbacks? 23 was a round number. It was a prior resistance area. It was a rising window or all of the above. Great, okay, so most of you, again, were correct. Let me just uh, close it and we'll, okay. Share it, okay. Okay, so, uh, and sorry, I forgot about sharing the results before. Uh, so it looks like 47% was correct about the rising window, okay? So let me hide it here so we can see the, this chart. So rising window, I love tiny windows. A small window. See, the issue with a window is if you have a really big window, the whole window is a support area, rising window. Here, when you have a small window, the whole window is support. With the, the small windows, you have a tighter support area. So, classic rising window. And each time it got near there, it held support. So, the correct answer for that was a rising window. So, you guys and ladies did really, really well. I threw some surprise, you know. 
sort of uh, challenging questions that where the answers weren't so obvious and many of you got it. So congratulations on that. So let me turn it over to Paul now. And he has some exciting details about our lifetime uh, mycandlecharts.com information. Thank you, Steve. Uh, just make sure you can see my screen. I hope you guys all enjoyed that chart challenge that Steve did. Um, I know I did. It's great when uh, when I get to watch and we get 100% people participating. That's fantastic. Um, so what I want to do fast is show you what my candle charts is. And I know some of you here are already members of my candle charts, and I know a couple other people here have products in our other site over at Candle Charts Academy. They are two different sites, but they're really, you know, for um, for lack of a better term, I look at them as like peanut butter and jelly. For those of you that like peanut butter and jelly, they really go well together. Candle Charts Academy has things like the Express class. I know Tay, you were mentioning before you had the Express class and a couple other things. Um, Candle Charts Academy includes all of the resources. If you had the mega package or any of our software or any of our other programs, you would have access to that inside of Candle Charts Academy. My Candle Charts is a different site still in our company. It is our membership site where we host numbers of live and recorded sessions every single day to help guide you in the markets. One of those types of sessions is a weekly chart challenge, similar to what Steve just did. So I'm gonna be giving you the link uh, here in a second. And um, what I wanna show you is we offer my candle chart memberships in either a monthly, a 12 month, and a lifetime plan. You can certainly sign up with any of the three. Uh, with the monthly plan, it's $149 per month. You have access to most of the features. You have access to the most recent special topic training. I'll get into that in a couple of minutes. You can cancel at any time. Our annual plan is for $675. It's for 12 months. And uh, you would have access to all of the features, including all of the special topics, which again, I'll show you. It also includes our special options boot camp program. Now, if you go to the lifetime plan, uh, you get access to everything that comes with the annual plan, the 12-month plan, uh, but obviously you're going to get a better deal over time. And the special offers that we have going on until this timer goes to zero is on the annual plan. Instead of 12 months, we're actually going to give you a 13th month with your subscription. And with the lifetime plan, we'd actually give you $150 of store credit that you can use in our other site over at Candle Charts Academy. So let me go through real fast at my Candle Charts. And I did just get a question. Can you show me what the site looks like? I'm going to do that here in a minute. Show you real fast what comes with my Candle Charts. Weekly candle strategy sessions. We do this twice a week. Members can request a market to be analyzed. Steve and our team will analyze that for you. So if you want to look at Apple, IBM, Bitcoin, the pound dollar, uh, futures, crude oil, you name it, we can analyze it every Monday and every Thursday. We do a video chart of the day, uh, an educational piece. Uh, that's a video posted each morning. A morning trade set up, a video each morning, Monday through Friday, of a trade that we're either doing or potentially doing that day. Daily market recap. We do this live every day, Monday through Friday, where we go over the major markets. By the way, every session we do live are also recorded and posted. Why? We have students in 85 different countries. And we know not everyone can be there at all times. So the daily market recap happens every day, Monday through Friday. Every Tuesday, we do a Forex focus session, specifically Forex markets around the globe. Every Wednesday, we do an options outlook where we go through option strategies, special topics. This is really important. I'm going to be showing you more details on this in a minute. If you're a monthly member, you get the most recent special topic session that we did. If you're an annual or a lifetime, you'll get access to, I believe we now have 22 different special topics. Special topics are one hour long videos on a specific topic. I'm going to show you that list here in a minute. Like Steve just did a chart challenge. We do a new chart challenge video each week fireside chat, an interactive session that we offer from time to time where we actually have our members 
log in with headsets and mics so that we can actually talk with each other. Charting widget, you saw that we actually have a chart on the site. Options Bootcamp, I love this. It's a three-part video series. If you're new to options, you wanna learn how to trade options, or you just wanna make sure you're doing options correctly, a three-part series, again, for our annual and lifetime members to have as a bonus. We have a weekly re wrap up, which is very similar to our daily market recap, but we look at a longer term time frame. We offer a lot of different resources and I'll show you those bonuses in a second. And we also do an international recap where we cover major indices from around the world. So let me show you our special topics. Again, if you're an annual or a lifetime member, you would have access to all of these special topic sessions. Remember, if you're not a member and you want these, you can purchase them individually or become an annual or lifetime member and we give you all of these. Each one of these sells for at least $79. We have a brand new one coming out next week on trading strategy, where we actually review various strategies that some of our students are actually utilizing. But we have other sessions on things like trading crypto. There's so much energy and excitement around crypto right now. We did a special session just on how to trade crypto. Some of my other favorites, and I'll just go through a few of them. Support and resistance, a lot of people don't understand it. We go through a full hour on teaching you how to do it. Legging in and out, how to manage your position without having to go all in or all out. Obviously, I don't have to tell you about what's going on in the markets now, but trading volatile markets, how to control it, how to make profit, whether the markets are up or down. East and West, a session Steve goes through how to combine candles with Western technicals. We have various option strategies, credit spreads, debit spreads, calendar options, intraday options. We have a session just on how to exit your position. And one of my other favorites, multiple time frames, how to use different time frame charts. Let me scroll down here, a couple of the bonuses that come with a membership, whether you're monthly and annual or a lifetime. You get a visual glossary of all the candlestick patterns. You get a glossary of Western indicators that we use. You have a video from Steve on making sure you understand candles. So even if you're new, this new essential video is gonna make sure you understand candles in order to take full advantage of everything we have to offer here at My Candle Charts. And then we have the four common mistakes that almost every trader makes with candles. Here's our team of mentors, like I said. We have Steve, obviously. We have Syl and Brian, both are Nissing certified trainers. Both do a bunch of different sessions and add a ton of value. On this page, you'll see all the information. You see a whole bunch of different uh, testimonials and again, our special offer. So while this time is available, if you sign up for an annual plan, you'll get the 13 month free. And if you go up the lifetime plan, not only do you get lifetime access, You'll also get $150 store credit. Uh, some of our students would use towards things like our software, further education, or any of our other programs. So I did get the question on what does our actual website look like? And of course, there we go. This is what I've already gone through. Calendar, chart of the day, trade set of the day, daily market recap, here's chart challenges, casual trader. If you click on any of these, you would see the most recent session as well as a list of prior sessions. Let me show you if you click on special topics. Again, if you're a monthly member, you would have access to the recent special topic. If you're an annual or a lifetime member, if you click on full list of special topics, it will then take you to the page. Uh-oh, didn't want to log me in. So there we go. Here's a listing of all of those special topics. If you click on them, it will take you to the page with the video and all the other information about that. Okay, uh, so that is my candle charts. If you enjoyed today's chart challenge session with Steve and you like the interactive nature, this is what my candle charts is really all about. It's about taking your candle education and helping you apply it. The analogy we always get, or similar analogies that we always get, is if you took biology back in college and you sat in a lecture and you listened to everything they talked about, it would be great book knowledge. In biology in college, I know I took it, you also have a lab. In that lab, you're in a smaller group, you're working with other students like yourself, and you're actually practicing what you actually learned in the lecture. So take a look at that 
concept of what you learned in either things like the express class or the mega package or frontline forex or our options education or any of our other programs like swing trading or intraday trading or even you have our software and you want to apply it better my candle charts is the peanut butter to the jelly that will kind of make it all stick together and allow you to apply that knowledge on a regular ongoing basis as the markets continue to evolve we are here to provide that daily ongoing professional guidance from our team of mentors. We have members, like I said, from 85 different countries that we know about. We have people that are brand new. We have hedge fund managers that are current members uh, and everybody in between. So with that, I would certainly be happy to answer any questions and what I'm obviously need to do so that you can take a look. Just put the link in but it is candlecharts.com slash lifetime. And that will take you to that information page that I showed you. It has a 10 minute video that walks you through each of the different items. It shows you the different things. While this timer is here, if you're watching this for your recording, obviously the countdown will be less than it is while I'm doing this live. But while that timer is available, these special offers of the life, uh, the limited time offer of the 13th month included with your purchase of the 12 month plan or the $150 of store credit on the lifetime plan. If there are any questions, if you're watching this via recording, my email is paul at candlecharts.com or you can always do a chat, that blue button there on the bottom right of the page um, where we offer chat agents. Every chat agent that we hire are traders. They are very knowledgeable um about uh candles about trading each of our chat agents are a little bit different some trade stock some trade forex some trade crypto some trade options some trade multiple items uh i believe the minimum allow a minimum amount of time that any one of our chat agents has been trading is four years some of our chat agents have been trading a lot longer than that uh, Doug says, happy birthday, Steve. Yep. Uh, Steve, if you're still there, Doug says, happy birthday. I know he's belated from last week. And Doug's going to sign up for the lifetime plan. Congratulations, Doug. Um, what's going to happen when you sign up for that lifetime plan? You'll fill out the information. You'll get access to the lifetime plan. And then I will be following up with you with that email on how to take advantage of that $150 of store credit that you can utilize for any other program that we offer. And we do have some very exciting programs. Next question I just got. Tell me about the new special topic. Great question. So I'm just going to scroll back down to the special topics. We did a program uh, at the end of last year called Small Group Coaching. Some of you might have heard about it. Some of you might actually be in it if you're watching this via the recording. And in there, we had students talking about developing their trading strategies. We had guest speakers come in and talk about, you know, what they put into their into their strategies. We had uh, guest speakers like Steve and our Nissan certified trainers, as well as external guest speakers, other professional gurus in the field. Based on that, we had our students come up with their own individual strategy. And then we had a contest where everyone voted on it. The strategies that we talk about in this new trading strategy special topic are strategies from our students on what they're using and ways that you can use it and ways that you can modify it. A uh, question we got is, do you provide daily trading room for spot forex? So when you look at my candle charts, I want you to erase the concept of what other companies do with their chat rooms or their charting rooms or their trading rooms. That's not what we do. What we do is we offer guidance in the markets every single day. We do not have it open. We don't have people sitting there waiting for you all day long to talk about what chart you want to look at. We do have it Monday through Friday where we do the live sessions, including our daily recaps, strategy sessions, Forex session, option session. We do have a thing called Traders Network, which is kind of like a Facebook inside of my candle charts. Uh, and I can show you that. Uh, right here, if you click on Traders Network, um, and it would uh, be 
a place where you could post a question, post a chart, ask comment, you know, ask for comments, and other students and, and members of our team will go back in and answer it. Tay Tay is an option trader at most and confused on what service is best for you. If you have a question about your individual situation, you're not sure what's best for you, you can always email me directly, Tay. Uh, Paul at candlecharts.com is my email address. If you're an option trader, I can tell you that being a member of my candle charts is fantastic. Like I said, we do offer our options outlook uh, every Wednesday. We do those live. I'll just click on that so we can pull that up. Um, so a live session is done every Wednesday. We record them. And as you can see, you can go back in and watch the recordings of the past couple of months worth of sessions. Um, Doug, if the link is candlecharts.com slash lifetime. And I'll also put this one in there too. Doug, try that link I just put in the chat. Let's see if that works for you. Uh, going back to Tay, your question is uh, about options. So realize as a annual or a lifetime member, you would also get special topics of intraday options, calendar spreads, debit spreads, credit spreads. You would also have access in our bonus section to our options bootcamp program, which again is our three session program on options to make sure you understand it. So we do offer a lot of information for option traders, uh, Tay, but if you'd like, certainly send me an email and I'd be more than happy to uh, answer that for you and, and help you out. Uh, if there are any other questions, I'll certainly stick on for another minute or two. But again, uh, somebody just asked, what is a casual trader? So casual trader, we have a lot of students that just are not full-time traders. They have full-time jobs or they're students or they have other things going on. So casual trader is a video we post every Sunday for people to preview the week ahead, things to look out for, some big support and resistance areas, uh, maybe some specific markets or any big news coming out that week that you should be aware of, uh, whether it's interest rates or anything else that we know are coming and it can certainly help you be prepared. So essentially, my candle charts is for any type of trader, whether you're brand new or very experienced, whether you're a day trader, we have plenty of information on a regular basis. Uh, if you are a swing trader, if you're looking for overall market focus, or if you wanna to go to our strategy session and ask for our market for your specific instrument to be analyzed. I could tell you when I first started working here uh, 15, 16 years ago now, I would ask Steve to take a look at a chart for me and he would do it. And I felt like the luckiest guy in the world. And you have access to the same idea every Monday and every Thursday in our strategy session where you get to request a market to be analyzed. Even if you can't be there live, no big deal. We send out an email, you reply to the email with the symbol of what you want us to analyze. Then we analyze it and you can go back in and watch the recording later okay any other questions all right well i want to thank you so much for attending this live or if you're watching this via recording i do hope that you all got a lot out of that chart challenge that steve did that is just the tip of the iceberg of what we actually offer here at my candle charts uh, again the special offer is on our annual and our lifetime plan. You can certainly sign up for a monthly plan if you'd like, but this annual and lifetime plan will be gone when that timer goes down to zero. So with that said, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you happen to be around the globe. And we look forward to working with you here at mycandlecharts.com.